Now, why do we worry so much about cancer and fertility? Is this an esoteric part of our field, or does this really pertain to a significant number of patients? So if you look at the probability of cancer in females up to the limits of reproduction, surprising numbers are close to 2%. In men, considering that men can reproduce all they want until their last breath, right? Uh, um, that is about 8 to 9%. Well, if you do a calculation of what kind of cancers they might have, some of them have basal cell carcinoma, that's not a big deal. But some will result in chemotherapy. And you would come up with 1 to 4% probability of cancer treatment induced infertility in general population. I mean, chemotherapy is a recent thing, right? Our cancer colleagues would tell us, what, in the 60s till now? We're just figuring out what it does to fertility. So if you're running a clinic, premature ovarian failure clinic 20 years from now, a cancer survivor might be your most common type of patient. This might be one of the most common indications of early menopause. So it is important, this pertaining to general OB-GYN as much as the specialists. 